Hey there everybody, my name's Waddles, how you doing? Today we're going to talk about mob elevators and a huge issue that we have with them. The huge issue, just to be up front here, is that they don't work anymore. <laughs> so in case you missed it, the other day I did a snapshot coverage video on the snapshot 18W19A if I have all my numbers right, which I think I do. And the big change in that snapshot is that undead mobs don't float anymore. So what that means is that, uh, say, a skeleton does not float in the water anymore, it would sink. If it was in an ocean, it goes to the bottom instead of floating on the top like we're used to. Now, zombies haven't floated for a while. That was changed in a previous snapshot. So to showcase that, we have a skeleton just chilling here instead of bobbing. This is an old mob elevator design. I showcased this off in the other video, but, you know, it's a pretty standard thing with sign and then water. Now, usually we would be seeing this skeleton go up this thing. He is not. And again, the reason he's not going up is because of that new mechanic. They don't care to float in water anymore. He would just sink if I started digging down here. Uh, the skeleton will just go right down in there. He doesn't really care. He won't drown anymore. So that's the big problem here. That makes this whole elevator non-functional. Now, at the end of the other day's snapshot video, I talked about this very briefly and how it's a problem. And I said I would do a video talking about possible solutions and that kind of stuff. So here that is right now. I had a lot of amazing comments from you guys about bubble columns, which I completely forgot about, honestly, and how those could work to move mobs up and down, which is pretty cool. So what I want to do first is just kind of block some of this off and show you the bubble column. That is this whole thing going on in here. So I know it's a little hard to see, but there's a soul sand block right in there. That's a bubble column. That's how we could move mobs up and down. So let's say I put a skeleton in there. He gets shot way up to the top. I didn't even catch it. Uh, there you go. He goes way up there, way faster than this thing ever was. Not really an easy way to show you how fast this was. If you've used it, you know. Uh, they're not the fastest. They're definitely not as fast as that that's pretty impressive now before going into this video i was testing some stuff out and i figured yep that's going to be the easy solution as i saw a comment say mojang would uh, go ahead and add a feature that replaces an old one they break an old one and and fix it with something new so basically i thought this was going to be how a mob elevator was done now and it would be pretty simple to basically switch uh, this old elevator with this one on, say, a mob farm or something where you need to move mobs up and then drop them or whatever you're doing, right? But I started testing and it isn't that simple. So first problem we have here, and I do have a water source sitting up here to create this bubble column, is if I break the glass, you know, to let the mobs go into here, say the mobs are coming from over here, if you can picture this, uh, we have the water pouring down, right? Now, I thought that wouldn't be that big of an issue. We'd just go sign, and then we'd throw another block, and we do a sign, right, to stop the water. So now it's just going up easy enough. And then I thought, you know, throw the water source down, and then, you know, let a mob go on over there. And then we come across the problem of the mob getting stuck here, right? So I tested out the ice blocks and all of that kind of stuff, maybe throwing one there. Maybe they'll slide across, I figured, and... As you can see here, they don't quite slide far enough. Uh, and that is going to be the case even if I go ahead and throw ice in here in this path. They're not going to quite slide far enough. And I am using uh, packed ice, but I did test the other ice forms. Now, of course, we could use blue ice, which is maybe a little bit more slippery. Uh, but the problem here is that this begins to get a little unconventional. If we're in a survival setting, um, this blue ice is a lot of packed ice, and see, it doesn't even really work still, so that won't really work. The whole idea is to replace this super simple elevator with another super simple elevator, ideally, right? Now, of course, you know, that's kind of wishing for a lot, maybe, that why does everything have to be so simple? But, I mean, we're just talking about ideally, and theoretically, we'd want to replace one simple thing with another simple thing, okay? Okay. So, long story short, the ice isn't working, doesn't really seem to matter what kind of ice I put or how much ice. I could coat the whole thing in ice and it's not working, right? So, I figured the next step would be to dig down, right? 
And then, so I have a soul sand block down there, a few blocks down. Bubble column still works. I get shot up if I go in it, which is pretty cool. Uh, this is going to be awesome for myself, but again, talking about mobs here. Uh, so I figured, you know, maybe I could slide them off the edge of this block. It was worth a shot, right? So if I go ahead and take an ice block, throw it back here, we'll just use blue ice because it's what I have. Uh, and you will see that, of course, uh, hey, buddy, come on, come on, stay in the water. Uh, you will see that, you know, of course, nothing changed, really. So I figured maybe we'd, you know, try and drop them and see if that changes anything. And it it really doesn't change much as you'll see right here another issue that we have is you know he's still sitting there he's he's definitely not where we want him to be which is in that bubble column right and again the ice is starting to get a little complex but we could use the basic ice so the next thing i decided to go ahead and try is moving the water source back eight blocks so the water would end right at this edge even if i didn't have these signs here right so this was six blocks right here i do believe and then this should be eight if i get rid of that the right way it should go right up to uh we'll just block that off for now it should go right up to uh there yep yep so it ends right where we would need it to right so we can open that back up and hopefully i was thinking this water would continue to pour down like it would have used to it would go down instead of out here right or at least that's how i understand water to work well this is where we have another huge problem so this will need to be staying like this so we can have a skeleton going in here right if you're following along i hope you are i hope i'm doing this all right uh and then if we go ahead and just pull these out and block that in you see the water flows right back up into here which is a big problem uh, because then if we have a skeleton, you know, say over here, he's not going to ever make it to the water and go up. Now, this is going to be the case no matter what. If I even put the water source up here, they're still not going to make it all the way over to where they need to be. See, if I put the source there, they're not making it. The water comes down and then pours down here now because of how the water works now. It works completely different. These are all water sources in there. If I didn't go ahead and spill all that, I'll show you. If I get rid of this one, which was my only source block, uh, the whole bubble column is still there. Now, in case you don't believe me, I can go and throw one in right here. We'll let that all go down in there. And it does f spill out into here. And again, if I delete that, it's all still there. This is all filled in with water source blocks. Not sure if that's a bug, but to my understanding, that's how water works now. That's a new intentional feature. If it's a bug, I could be all wrong. I'm in 18W19B right now recording this. I guess it's good to say at this point in the video that I'm walking you through my thought process and trying to make a relatively simple mob elevator to replace that one. Again, keeping the goal in mind of it's not too complex right so anyways i wasn't done testing out stuff and so i figured hey maybe i can get mobs to pick up a little speed if i raise them here you know completely abandoning that whole eight block effort and just going right back to the signs that i had before because that worked the soul sand block doesn't really matter it could be right on the top there or it could be all the way down like it is so if i put my water source here and then i throw the skeleton in the stream again and again this would apply for zombies too uh, he still doesn't quite make it, right? However, if I go in here and I take some ice, right? And we'll just take the standard ice this time. That would be the cheapest and uh, most realistic in survival, especially if you're early game. And we take the skeleton and throw him in. Uh, he doesn't make it. Aw. So now, if I take this glass and pull it up, right? Because I figured, you know, the skeleton is hitting his head when he's sliding down here. So... Pull this glass block out, put three signs going up. Again, imagining this is all underground, not in broad daylight. We throw a skeleton in, say he, you know, got into our water stream. He slides, and he actually makes it up this time, which is pretty cool. Uh, that's making progress, right? He's not all the way over like he needs to be, but he's still up, which is kind of cool. And then his friend goes in there and doesn't quite push him over far enough. Now, I don't know why I have this whole idea about stairs, but, uh, stairs, right? If I try stairs there, maybe he'll, he'll go up and then make his way over. I don't know. That was my whole idea. But, uh, as, uh, should happen, um, we have the same problem, 
right? He makes it into the bubble stream, but not all the way anymore. So basically, if you get my point, um, the whole mob elevator with this bubble column is amazing. And in theory, it would work so perfectly if we could just get the mobs into there because they get thrown up so fast. And that could be really awesome. But for a basic early game grinder, at least I can figure out a way to get this to work right with how water works now with all of these source blocks. If this wasn't creating all source blocks, this would work fine. The water would go straight down and then we could have a stream pushing everything right over into here. But if we add this one block uh, gap in here, they don't really quite make it over all the way easy enough. Now, I'm sure you could make some kind of mob pusher or something like that to shoot the mobs a lot faster, but we're talking about simplicity here, right? This elevator before, right behind me now, was very easy to make. You needed to cut down some trees to get some signs, and you needed to get some iron to get some buckets to throw the water in there, right? Unless you have a crazy sea and the water spawned like that, pretty easy to make, right? Now, this is starting to get a whole lot more complex. If it was just soul sand, that's fine. You know, really, that's not that hard. But if we're adding in things to push mobs and shoot mobs, it gets kind of pointless. And at that point, there's no point in making a whole elevator system to drop them. Now, you might be asking, why are you trying to make an elevator, Waddles? Well, that's so I can hit them with a sword and they die pretty fast. It's one thing I like to do. It's, it's, I know you could drop them, no elevator required, but, you know, this is just how I like to do it. And I'm talking about the game. I'm not the only one that likes to do that. It's your turn to help me out. Am I doing something wrong? Do you have an idea of how maybe I could be doing this? Again, the whole goal is to keep it uh, simple. Not with some fancy redstone pusher on some kind of time circuit. Of course, you know, you like I said, you could shoot the mobs uh, a little faster to speed them up or something like that. But uh, trying to keep it simple here, you know, it, with this in mind, that this was the old way of doing it and it was so easy. And it looks like the new way is going to be a whole lot harder. But I mean, I guess that's part of a, a game that updates. So I don't know. Your turn. Tell me what you think. Is there a way that uh, is really easy to do this and I'm completely, completely blanking? Because that could totally be the case. Sometimes I'm a little bit of a derp, I'm not going to lie. But I hope you enjoyed this troubleshooting video and my thoughts and all of that. Tell me what you're thinking. Am I wrong? That's okay. Uh, just let me know down below. Uh, I will see you next time. I hope I helped you out uh, or probably didn't help you here. <laughs> Go have a good day. I'll see you next time. Goodbye.